Uh, Mrs. Johnson? Yes? How's Michael? Well, your husband was in some pretty bad shape after that car accident. Oh my god. But, after extensive surgery, we believe he'll make a full recovery within the month, so... You know. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Well, yeah, of course. That's why we're here. That's what we do. What procedures did he need? Well, Mrs. Johnson, your husband had us using almost every scalpel in our ER, I'll tell you that much. Uh, we had to remove his spleen, set three cracked ribs, sew up his right leg, replenish his knee cartilage. We gave him a blood transfusion. We pierced his right earlobe and replaced his left hip. So the recovery oh, process won't be easy. I'm sorry, but what was the last thing that you said? We replaced his left hip. Um, oh, so no, 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 uh, before that. Gave him a blood transfusion oh, no. after that. Oh, we, yes, we pierced his right earlobe. Right there. Why? Well, I gotta tell you, Mrs. Johnson, a lot of split-second decisions gotta be made when you got a patient lying there on the operating table of the ER, you know? Uh, but my colleagues and I all agreed in the pinch that his facial bone structure was such that it was almost a miracle he'd lived this long without one. An so. ear piercing? So I'd like to uh, touch you a little bit about his recovery process. If you don't know mind. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're gonna have to keep him riding a stationary bike about half an hour every day, all right? You're gonna want to ice his rib cage, keep him on a diet of easily digestible foods, give him some iron supplements, make sure you apply alcohol to his right earlobe while the stud is still intact, the hole does not close up. Okay. Um, and here's some physical rehabilitation facilities we can recommend. Uh, some pharmacies at which you can pick up his prescribed medication. Uh, several pairs of earrings uh, ranging from studs to hoops that your husband can choose from. Uh, at the end of the day, your insurance will only cover about two pairs. I believe that's the going rate with Obamacare. Uh, we also recommend your husband get a haircut to match the piercings. We've uh, got several looks here that are considered hot right now, hot or in right now, um, but at the end of the day, it's all your choice. Um, I've included actually some numbers in there of photographers that can take <laughs> headshots. Um, I, uh, I don't think that will be necessary. What won't be necessary? I just don't think the headshots will be necessary. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, I cannot stress how important a strict adherence to this recuperation process is to your husband's full recovery. Oh, no, I understand. I just, um, I just think the whole ear piercing thing is a bit excessive. Are you questioning my judgment as a physician? No, no, I just, I don't understand why he needed his ear pierced. Oh, you don't understand. I guess you're only a civilian, and I'm only the one that graduated from Harvard Medical School. My diploma's only right there. What's the other diploma? What other diploma? The other diploma? Oh yeah, I also graduated from LaChandra School of Beauty and Cosmetology. I also do Manny Petties. Just trying to make my degrees count. I'll send you the bill.